So you guys all know. I um Beyblade Fake Zero G Stadium. And I didn't really think I was gonna do much of the idea. I just thought, okay, we'll do two videos and then it had got a like and something like that, so I figured, hey, let's make another one and then I thought, hey, it's pretty interesting, so let's make some more. So right now, we're going to test out different Beyblades in it. Now we have two main Beyblades that we're trying out in it. The Pegasus and the Eldrago. Um, yeah, I don't have Eldrago Destroy, so that's why there's four Pegasus and three Eldragos. Yeah, so we're also going to try out Gravity Destroyer Stamina, left and right, in it. So let's go. This is Eldrago Stamina, right version. Right Pretty weak. Okay, now let's try out... Oh wait, this face bolt's coming unscrewed. Okay. We'll try it out right spin so again because this face bolt could have had a damage to it. And it bounces off and flies into the wall and then rolls down and hits the radiator. Okay, let's go forward though. Left spin. Like the regular Zero G Stadium, the battles are very short. Sometimes base can go up there and survive. Now you want to know the reason why Beyblades can't survive, they can survive a little bit longer in the real Zero G than the fake one? Reasoning. Okay. Well, reason. The reason is, okay, is, okay, the reasoning is, okay, that you have your, we'll just be using Dark Bull as a hand example. Okay. The bay's launch and you're shaking it forcing the bay to go this way and if you tilt it the thing's spinning on this metal or it's spin track depending on what spin track you have like for dark bull it's got two points from spin track that actually stick out so then the thing is sliding around the side here so that's why and then it it's not on its performance tape and then it comes down and takes a hard hit because it's making that first transfer down. Lots of times the bay will come down like this, hit the wall, or lots of times that's why they don't hang on unless they go up the wall. So that was El Drago stamina. Just no, destroy your stamina version. Not bad. Oh, uh, let's go with Pegasus. First, we go with Cyber Pegasus. Go show. Pretty basic. The whole performance tip will sort of get stuck, so this is where the other Pegasus are better than Cyber. They go up. I'm sort of predicting. Yeah, the thing is, just so much momentum because they're all attack types and they just go up there. So if you're gonna use this fake zero G stadium. Try to use more of a stamina type. And I'll show you, like... Earth Aquila Metal Face. Yeah, it really is an Earth Aquila, but... Yeah, so all Beyblades really can't hang on long as Zero-G Stadium. Fake. Okay. The rubber of the performance tip here of Storm should give it a little bit of a helping hand. So didn't really want to take flight. And slide along here. So this attack type. Rubber performances will see if they're a little bit better. Just did not get up there until late. Losing a lot of momentum and just flying up and Pegasus star breaking stadium out. Okay, the last we're gonna go by order. Okay, Galaxy Pegasus. I was about to launch Big Bang. Crap, that was even without the string coming out. 
How is that even possible? Okay then. Galaxy Vegas, this is useless. To use in this, okay. Go with Big Bang. Totally useless. This performance tip comes out, gets it stuck in the hole. After that, it just goes in. It's just flat bouncing. You know what bay might actually be good in this? Where is it? I have the bay. Ah. Oh. You know how I got my three containers? I forgot what container it was in. Let's go with Poison Scorpio. Look at the spin track performance tip. It's the worst one ever. Maybe my prediction was wrong, but we'll try that again. Sorry about the noise, it's just by my window. This will be one of the new... Yo! Viewing location. Yeah, that didn't really work either. Let's see what happens is still useless. I wonder how XDS is. Hey, it's still an old Drago, so that way we're not getting off topic. Tornado battle? Nice! Still going on! To see these B ways are still the meant for angle to dance? So the fake zero G statement is probably good for it. Let's try it out again. See, it also points to the out so easily. That's good. So hopefully if I get a Beyblade Zero G Stadium, real one soon, um, Then we'll see. And then we'll, let's just try an Irish Sphinx control. The stealth battlers, let me just tell you, I already tried it before. The thing just, like, fails because it just hits the wall and stealth attack the boys. And Can I tell you now? The bay was not moving the whole time. She just had so much momentum. It's sort of like regular Pegasus. So let's just test it out on the zero G. Really basically useless. The thing just gains all of its momentum and goes back at the wall. I wonder if a bay can go up like that. Oh well. So, just, maybe if you want to get a win, in the stadium, go to the... I've never talked to them saying this, because I don't really like the Zero G. Not Zero G, fake. I'm not fake, never mind. Okay, XTS as much. So let's get on to the old Dragos. We still got, mm, about a minute left. Okay, El Drago went all cuckoo. Before I even picked it up, the thing just went on the rampage. Yeah. Don't recommend Lightning El Drago. Next bay, Meteo El Drago. Gotta put some force in this bay. Let me tell you now. That bay is also a fail. Can the common collected bay? Ultimate Meteor Dragon Rush came to the stadium. Go shoot! Your best bet is to not use rush spins as they always fail. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video, subscribe, like, goodbye.
Hello everybody, welcome to the Fang Leon Battle Series. Uh, the first one in the series will be Fang Leon versus Big Bang Pegasus. The first time that I've ever done this, uh, Hasbro's 4D versus Kiritomi's and Hasbro's loses. It should actually be winning because it's a defense versus an attack type. And Big Bang loses. Takira Tomy surprisingly lost to Hasbro. And Fang Leon wins two out of the three matches. So, thanks for watching.